Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Nursing Basics. As promised, in this video we're going to talk about the electrical, con electrical conductivity of the heart. We're going to break this down and make it super easy for you to understand. The basic electrical conductivity of this bad boy is as follows, right here. The SA node to the AV node to the bundle of Hiss down the right and left bundle branches into the Purkinje fibers. Make sure you stick around because we're going to break down each step. Let's do this. So for the remainder of this video, we're going to demonstrate the electrical conductivity with the chambers of the heart off. This is the right side of the heart, this is the left side. So right and left atrium, right and left ventricle. There we go. The electrical conduction system begins with the SA node, aka the sinoatrial node. This node is known as the heart's natural pacemaker and anatomically it is located in the upper chamber of the right atrium, somewhere up in here. The main function of the SA node is to cause electrical impulses in the upper chambers of the heart that cause it to depolarize, also known as contraction. The SA node generates a heart rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. Remember that, it's important. The SA node then branches off to the Bachmann's bundle, which is located here in the left atria. The SA node up here and the Bachmann's bundle in the left atrium are connected through what are known as the intranodal atrial pathways. The SA and the Bachmann's bundle work together so that a synchronous atrial contraction can occur. After the electrical activation of the atria has occurred, we move down to the atrioventricular node. If you break that word down, atrioventricular, you will notice that it refers to the atria and the ventricles. That's because the AV node is the communication center between the atria and the ventricles. It is also known as the gatekeeper of the heart. It is known as the gatekeeper of the heart because electrical signals from the atria must pass through the AV node before they can reach the ventricles. Anatomically, it is located at the base of the right atria, so it'd be somewhere in here. This model doesn't quite show up, but it would be somewhere in here. Now, we just learned that the SA node is the pacemaker of the heart and generates a heart rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. But if the SA node were to fail, the AV node would take over and generate a heart rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute. Remember that, it's important. After the AV node has done its job, electrical impulses travel down what is known as the bundle of Hiss. And this bad boy is located in the interventricular septum. This is just a fancy word for a wall that separates the right and left ventricles. The bundle of Hiss then breaks off into what are known as the right and left bundle branches. The right bundle branch carries electrical impulses to the right ventricle. The left bundle branch carries electrical impulses to the left ventricle. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, the right and left bundle branches break down even further into what are known as Purkinje fibers. Purkinje fibers are what allow electrical impulses to spread through the ventricles evenly so that a synchronous ventricular contraction occurs. Now, we learned that the SA node generates a heart rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. If it fails, the AV node will take over and generate a heart rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute. But what if they both kick the bucket? Glad you asked! Well, the Purkinje fibers will take over and generate a heart rate of 40 beats per minute or less. Remember that, it's important. However, this is not sustainable and will require medical intervention in the very near future. All right, peeps, now it's time to do a recap of everything we just learned about this bad boy. Here we go. The SA node is the pacemaker of the heart. It is found in the upper wall of the right atria it maintains a heart rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute and is responsible for the contraction of the upper chambers of the heart, the atria. The SA node connects to the Bachmann's bundle, which is located in the left atria, through the intranodal atrial pathways. After the SA node, we move to the atrioventricular node. The atrioventricular node is located at the base of the right atrium, and it connects the atria and the ventricles. If for some reason the SA node were to fail, the AV node would take over and would maintain a heart rate of, you remember, 40 to 60 beats per minute. I knew you could do this. After the AV node, we travel down the bundle of Hiss, which is located in the interventricular septum, somewhere right in here, and the bundle of Hiss breaks down into the right and left bundle branches. These bundle branches break down even further into what are known as Purkinje fibers. These Purkinje fibers are what allow for a synchronous contraction of the ventricles. If the SA and the AV node both fail, then the Purkinje fibers will take over and maintain a heart rate of less than 40 beats per minute. Well, there you go, peeps. You did great. 
Make sure you keep up the studying. Also, make sure you check out the Quizlet. I'll link it down below in the description. That way you can test yourself over the comprehension of the material in this video. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment down below. I'm more than happy to respond and help you out and help clarify things. Keep an eye out for my next video. It's going to be over the cardiac cycle, AKA how the chambers and valves in this bad boy all work together to pump blood throughout your body. If you need a refresher on the basic anatomy and blood flow of the heart, make sure you check out my other video. I'll also link that down in the description as well. Don't forget the basics of life, guys. Be kind and do good. Peace out. Yeah.